Welcome back to the classroom. My name is Mr. Wong. Today we'll be covering a concept from module three, inquiry question two. Originally it's about refraction and reflection, a behavior that always have, but under the special condition, we have a thing called total internal reflection. So we're gonna discuss what that actually is, and we're gonna try and use some diagrams to label um, what exactly is happening here. So. Um, in terms of total internal reflection, just to put things straight, I'll draw a diagram. When total internal reflection occurs, we have light that usually, when it goes from one medium to another, so this is our uh, interface. Usually, say for example, if we have air and then we have water, uh, the light ray that we have here, that usually sort of bends uh, to a particular angle, uh, usually towards the normal line that we have here. That's usually what happens uh, with refraction, which is why when, say example, you put an object in water, uh, the object kind of looks like it's gone backwards in the water because the light has been bent in that interface and refraction is what you see here. So that's kind of a little quick summary of what's happening there, but in the case of total internal reflection, something slightly different happens. In total internal reflection, instead of having a, or instead of having the light go from a less dense medium to a more dense medium, we have a more dense medium to start off with, and the light will bend towards a less dense medium. In this case, we're gonna say air. Now, in this process, at a particular angle, okay, this angle here, we call that the critical angle, this bit here. If we reach the critical angle, we can actually get a light ray that actually refracts parallel to the interface, or we could say perpendicular to the normal line. Okay, so angle of refraction is equal to 90 degrees. And then after that, we can get a phenomena called total internal reflection, where light, instead of being refracted between two interfaces, it actually bends or refract, reflects, if I know how to talk, um, back out. And that angle would be the same as your critical angle. Okay, so let's try and explain how total internal reflection occurs. Um, so, firstly, for total internal reflection to occur, our light ray must travel from a more dense to less dense medium. Okay, now the reason why that's the case is because as light bends, or as light goes from a more dense to a less dense medium, it is going to, f you're gonna find that the light ray coming in, more dense to less dense, the light ray is going to bend away from the normal line. That's not a completely well, that's not a great picture to depict it. Let's just redo that. So if it's coming at this angle here, the ray might come out here, so further away from the normal line that we have here. Okay, so let's just quickly joint that down. Change color. Uh, the reason being is or well, we can say that the incident angle will be smaller than our refracted angle. Okay, light bends away from the normal line. So as we increase 
the angle of incidence. So as I try and increase the angle of incidence, what will happen is it will lead to the angle of refraction increasing. And so it's going to bend further away from the normal. I might just label where the normal line is. Okay. When we reach a point where the refraction angle hits 90 degrees, so when theta r is 90 degrees, okay, there's nowhere else for the light go. We've reached the critical angle. That's zero theta c. That critical angle is also the incident angle we were talking about early before. So the light ray now can only bounce back into itself rather than refract into another medium. And so this is total internal reflection. No longer can the light transmit out. Okay. So there's that. Hopefully that makes sense of how total inf internal reflection occurs. Hopefully some of these diagrams we've drawn is to your understanding of how total internal reflection will occur as well. If you want to see total internal reflection in action, go to the top left video over here, which is one of the demonstrations I do about total internal reflection. If you just want to see other videos have a look at the playlist below and as always please give a like um, help a teacher out get these videos up and going and always thank you for your support and watching these videos as well take care